So, we all know the meaning of hypocrisy, right? Well, hypocrisy is defined as the practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform. Pretense. Now, the Danganronpa fandom, and mostly all fandoms in general, have a huge problem with hypocrisy. But here, I'll be detailing my personal experience with hypocrisy in the Danganronpa fandom, as it's a genuine problem with fandoms in general. That might even be a main contributor into the reputation of a fandom and the source material in general. Whether it be hypocrisy on what characters are morally right to like, or hypocrisy with someone's reasoning for disliking one character but then adoring another character even if they've done the same thing as the one they dislike. And here, I'll admit that I've had some times where I've been a hypocrite, I can admit that, but my reasonings for disliking characters like Himiko, Kaede, Hifumi, Teruteru, and Nekumaru, and much more, have more basis behind them than my main reasons, and that's what most hypocrites tend to lack more reasoning or basis for their statement, which causes them to be easily refuted by things they would eventually say in the future. One major form of hypocrisy I see in this fandom, specifically, is how people perceive others with the double standards when it comes to liking characters. So, we know of morally right characters that do morally right things. An example would be Chihiro, who has a morally right mindset and whose actions reflect that as of alter ego and wanting to help everyone. But there's variance to this, obviously, such as morally right characters who do morally wrong things, or even a morally wrong character doing morally right things. I hope that makes sense. But look at some Danganronpa characters that are beloved by the fandom. Kokichi Yoma, for example, is a character who has morally right intentions, and could be considered morally right in terms of what he tries to do, saving everyone from the killing game, or at least saving as many people as possible, but his actions would be considered morally incorrect or wrong, since he was technically the catalyst for two to three murders, not counting his own. But I wouldn't really count some of them murders, but more or less deaths. But anyway, he's still beloved for being an interesting character with tons of depth and intrigue, which is basically most of the characters in this franchise, but yet one thing can completely destroy the reputation of a character, but then hypocrites will continue to like a character for something objectively worse. Next, we have around everyone in the Danganronpa 2 cast, which literally they all helped cause the end of the world, and for lack of better terms, killed thousands of people along with torture, mutilation, arson, and even necrophilia on the counts of one character that we know of. Although they were hypnotized and used to be morally good or gray characters who eventually did morally bad actions, I'm bad at explaining things, but hopefully you understand how those characters are technically, even if they weren't fully aware of it, they've done extremely terrible things, and it doesn't even compare to at least all the characters in Danganronpa 1 and V3, since they literally committed several terrible crimes along with helping with the aid of the end of the world. Hopefully you understand what I mean by all this, but these characters are all examples of characters who do terrible things but are still beloved by the fandom. Now, would you wonder how people react when I say I like Mew, or just how people treat Mew fans in general and try- and specifically when you try to explain her actions? People will call you a creep, a weirdo, a degenerate, and someone who defends sexual assault. When compared to all of Danganronpa 2's cast, she's done far less worse in the grand scheme of things. Considering she was helpful every chapter and just really wanted to help the group. Obviously, what she did to Kaede was really bad, but compared to literally everyone in the Danganronpa 2 cast, her crime is nothing compared to literal terrorism. Her upbringing did not help how she acts at all, but people tend to act like being a Mew fan is the worst crime on earth, when again, there's characters who do objectively worse, but are still somehow beloved? And anyways, while saying characters like Teru Teru are even better than Mew, which is factually incorrect in terms of actions in the game, it is objectively incorrect if you want to consider everything that happened before Teru Teru became a remnant. And even then, if you want to count everything that happened in DR2, Teru Teru's record of being a quote-unquote good person doesn't hold up. 
Why do people hate new fans or even fans of other characters like Mikan or Maki when we have characters who have done far worse than them that are beloved? Although granted, Mikan is a remnant of despair, so she's done as worse things as the Danganronpa 2 cast, but people somehow manage to hate her specifically out of everybody in the cast, and I just find that really odd in all honesty. Another example of hypocrisy in this fandom would be people hating Maki for almost getting everyone killed in Chapter 5 due, due to an impulsive action based on her emotions, while someone like Nagito was willing to kill everyone but the traitor on a whim because he learned that they were all bad people. This also goes for every killer in the franchise, including characters like Gonta, who was willing to kill everyone in order to spare them from seeing the outside world. But he still tried to kill everyone? He's no better than all of all the other killers, especially considering he did everything from his own free will, with little to no input or at least push from Kokichi. I hope I explained my points correctly, but the hypocrisy when it comes to characters that are acceptable to like and not is so interesting to me, considering what this is considering that this is Danganronpa, which is full of characters who do terrible things, for the most part. Sometimes I wonder if it's misogyny or hypocrisy or just even both, but in terms of fairness, I suppose I can see why people act like Mew is scum of the earth. Not. That was a false statement. Sarcasm, even though I couldn't really articulate that in my speech. Frankly, if people want to talk about morality or actions of a character, Mew is just a quirky character who makes jokes which wouldn't count as anything terrible. We use It's Dong and Rampa as an excuse. Mew isn't... I wouldn't say she's the more best character morally, but she is really, she has really good moral standards, and it shows because she genuinely wants to help everyone, and she just wants to feel important to them, which is why she tries her best to help the only way she can every chapter, which would be her inventions. Even though Mew attempted murder and did sexually assault Kaede, I feel like we're putting, we're doing too much when it comes to hate, hating her. Her hate feels forced compared to characters who've done um, objectively worse. My 10 cents on this topic is just, please have standards for what's a turn off, and for lack of better words, a turn on for a character. Then evaluate your reasoning to see if it isn't hypocritical, because you will be called out eventually, if anything. Hypocrisy is a huge problem in fandom spaces, and I want to promote anti-hypocrisy, unless it makes absolutely sense, which rarely does, but hopefully you'll understand my point. In general, I feel like this topic could be explored, explored in way more depth, but I frankly wanted to focus on the two cases that I just find baffling and the most apparent in this fandom. If anyone had more cases you'd like to add in the comments, I'd love to hear, because hypocrisy genuinely makes me upset. Anyway, me was amazing, and uh, yeah, I didn't know what else to add to this video, so bye bye.